Hey YouTube, Olson Bro here. Today I have a review of the Odium Bluetooth FM transmitters. Let's check them out. Hey YouTube. What we have here is the OTM uh, T10 and the T11. I did thought I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's take a look at the T10 first. Um, they are very similar products, just a couple slight uh, variations between the two. Um, this T10, it says it has universal compatibility. Obviously, it's a Bluetooth receiver. It works with smartphones. I use it with my iPhone 7 Plus, and it worked just fantastic. Um, it also supports the auxiliary output and input. It says it works with the SD, TF card, or MP3, MP4 players via a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that comes with the, uh, the product. Um, it says it supports A2DP and achieves the stereo music lossless transfer to your car speaker. It's also got a built-in microphone feature, offers hands-free talking. Now the T11 is a little bit smaller. Um, it doesn't give you quite as much reach from the cigarette, cigarette lighter when you plug it in. This one has a dual USB car chargers built into it. Also Bluetooth FM transmitter has two USB ports as I mentioned. One designed, designed for reading MP3 files and both can be used for charging it says. Um, it's got a 1.44 inch LED display. It can show the current voltage of the storage battery of your car. Also the name of the songs playing from TF cards or phone number when incoming call and FM channel and volume. I'm reading from their product description here. It also has the A2DP support, uh, stereo music, lossless transfer, and it's got a built-in microphone feature as well. So they're both really similar. Um, again, size is one of the main issues or the main differences as well as having those two USB ports on the T11 versus the T10 has one on the back there. Um, they bo both work great and I've used them both and I actually have them both in two different cars that happen to have older stereos that don't have uh, the built-in Bluetooth, which is crazy to me how fast technology has flown by. So they, they do a great job. Uh, it does have that 3.5 millimeter audio jack if you wanted to connect it to, um, I guess, an external CD player or something like that, or other MP3 player that doesn't have Bluetooth. So first I'm going to plug in the Odium T10 into the cigarette lighter. Just push it on in. It automatically turns on. Then I'll make sure I go onto my iPhone and find the, turn the Bluetooth on and select T10. And now that it's paired, obviously you have to turn the Bluetooth receiver to the same uh, FM frequency as your stereo. And then once you've done that, you're ready to play. And uh, it's got a lot of functionality as far as moving that thing around. And I love the volume control right on the, uh, the unit itself. Works great. You can skip tracks no problem as well. So this one works slightly different. You press that channel button and then you actually twist uh, that knob right there to adjust the, the channel, the FM channel that you're looking for. Then you press the M button to change between the different modes and uh, you have to make sure you're in the right mode to actually play through Bluetooth. But once you get the channel set up, that one's 87.9 and we have it 87.9 on the stereo. Then this time we need to go into our Bluetooth settings on our phone and select T11 to pair with the Odium T11. And then we're ready to stream the music. Now I'm using the, I believe it's a Google music service. See the dust? Hey, I was doing 
changes. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. As always, uh, please like, subscribe, and share.